this video, we're going to show you how to replace your DVR. It could be from QC, it could be from Lorax, from Swan, from Night Owl, what have you. So the first thing you do is you locate your DVR box. This is what our DVR box looks like. Yours may be different from the front, but this is what it looks like. It has a mouse on it and has a monitor connected to it. If you look in the back, I'll show you the connections. So this is a DVR as opposed to a NVR. The DVR has these connections on them. These are BNC connections. They're like twist lock connectors. I'll show you one here. This is what it looks like. This is the center of it. So this is a BNC, Boy Nancy Charlie. And it, it, this one has a BNC wire coming in. Your wire may look different as to what color it is, what markings it has, but this is the connection I want you to understand. It's called a BNC, usually paired with some type of wire. Now, this is a thin wire if you look at it. This is a pre-made wire. It has limitations as to what resolution it'll support and at what lengths. This is an HDMI connection. This goes to my monitor. This is a network connection. It goes to my switch or my router. It's blinking. The green light means the connection is on. And uh, the amber light tells me what type of uh, connection speed it is. You don't even know any of that. So what you need to understand is this is the connection that brings you a video. It's BNC. This is going to your monitor. It's HDMI. This is another connection, which I'm not using. This is called VGA. It uses a blue connection, but I'm not using it on my DVR. This is a USB connection. It goes to my mouse. This is what it looks like. And this is my power connection, and it goes to my power supply. If I trace this wire back, this is the big connection. It goes back to this little box. It's a power supply or an adapter. And if you notice, in my case, my power supply is powering or connected only to my DVR. In your case, you may have a different setup, but this is the most usual setup most people have. And then you have your video wire going to your camera. So this is my video wire going to my tester camera right here. If I look at my camera, this is a bullet camera. It looks like a bullet. On here, in the back of the camera, there's a pigtail that comes out of the camera, exits out, and terminates into two connections. A B and C connection, which produces video, and a power connection, which gets plugged into a power supply. This power supply is called a power box. If you look inside of it, you open one up, you'll see these LEDs in there, a power button, and a transformer that actually takes the 110 power and transforms it into a 12 volt DC or steps it down to 12 volt DC. Now, when you have a power box, you wanna go look at its label. This power supply, it's very important if you have a beige colored power supply as opposed to having a black power adapter like that, because these power boxes are the industry standard to power security cameras. If you are using a power supply like this, along with this sort of cable that fans out into four, six, five, eight, what have you connections, and plugs in to the back of the DVR and to your cameras, and you've got a home consumer setup. Uh, and when you get a new DVR, make sure you're using the DVR with the power supply you get inside the box and not using this fan out connector. The fan out connectors can continue to supply power to your cameras, but not to the DVR. So when you're replacing your DVR and you wanna know what DVR is compatible, you wanna walk up to the DVR just like I'm doing right here and you take a picture of the back of the DVR. That tells us what kind of cable you have because we can make recommendations on future upgrades if you wanted to get new cameras and helps us know what kind of DVR, what kind of connections you have, what kind of wire you have even lets us know what kind of monitor you're using because it's important information. Then take a picture of the front of the DVR. Some DVRs have a model number on the bottom. You can need that. There might be even a label on the side. Uh, mine doesn't happen to have one because it's our tester unit, but there may be a label on the side or on the bottom of the DVR. Find that, take a picture of that as well. The other thing we want you to take a picture of is whether you have a power box or you have a power adapter that's, cap that's powering the cameras. 
and take a picture of the label on that power supply or on the power adapter. So these are all important sources of information for us to know what you can and cannot use if you'd like to switch out some components of your BNC security camera system or DVR system and make good recommendations for products that will actually work and not have issues. The last picture we'd like to see is a picture of the main menu. You use a mouse, so I'm gonna use a mouse here. I'm gonna go into my DVR and you right click and you get a main menu of some sort. Take a picture of that. It helps us know what kind of DVR you have. All these pictures help us ascertain information that's needed to determine what will work and what will not work in place of your existing equipment. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.